5G is all the rage right now, but some people are worried that it could make them sick. So we've decided to do a deep dive on this new technology and find out how it affects the human body. Roll that tape. Are you sick of slow mobile data speeds? Do you hate waiting for video streaming services to load? Is the second life you built in virtual reality to escape the crushing existence of the real world constantly disappointing you? Then have we got the gift for you. Introducing 5G. 5G is the next generation technology for mobile networks, an evolution of 3G and 4G that promises lightning fast speeds, lower latency and increased network connections. It's now rolling out to a telco provider near you and all you need to do is... Alright, so 5G sure sounds like a promising new technology, but some are concerned it may have adverse health effects. In November 2018, a social media post went viral and it suggested that in the Netherlands, 300 birds have died due to 5G testing. Forums are awash with activists suggesting that the dangers of cell phone radiation are being suppressed. So does 5G actually have health effects? Or is it just a conspiracy theory that's getting a little bit out of hand? Whack on your Tim Four hats, we're gonna find out. Okay, so why are people afraid of 5G? One word, radiation. All of our connected devices emit radio frequency electromagnetic energy of various wavelengths. Low frequency wavelengths are used in, say, powering your smartphones, TVs, and computers. And this is referred to as non-ionizing radiation. It's not considered energetic enough to cause any health effects. On the other side of the spectrum, you have high frequency wavelengths such as ultraviolet radiation from the sun or x-rays. This is a more powerful type of energy and it's known as ionizing radiation. It can rip electrons away from atoms and do some real damage to DNA. And if you're exposed to a lot of this type of radiation, like say some of these beach girls maybe, it can introduce errors into your DNA causing the growth of diseases such as cancer. Fortunately, 5G radiation is non-ionizing, completely different to radiation from the sun or from x-rays. Wait, so why are people worried? Well, there are a few important changes coming with 5G technology that have some people concerned about the negative health effects. One, it'll use millimeter wave technology. Two, that technology operates at higher frequencies than 3G and 4G, and three, that means we'll need more base stations and antennas to ensure we cover the same ground. So how exactly will millimeter wave technology affect the human body? We're gonna need a diagram. The skin is a very effective barrier against things like bacteria, viruses, and even the weather. Now here's the thing about 5G. Ionizing radiation, such as some wavelengths of UV from the sun, can penetrate the skin whereas things like radio waves actually penetrate through the skin without doing any damage at all. 5G wavelengths fall smack in the middle. They only barely penetrate the skin and they don't have the energy required to damage DNA. Still, that information isn't enough to allay fears. Many opponents of 5G point to a World Health Organization report in 2011 that suggests cell phone radiation could cause cancer. Now that report was put together by the International Agency for Research on Cancer and suggests that cell phone radiation should be listed as possibly carcinogenic, like aloe leaf extract, diesel fuel, and pickled vegetables. So I asked Andrew Wood, a professor at Swinburne University, exactly what that rating means. That if there's any evidence uh, of some sort of association between exposure to these things and, and certain types of cancer, then it goes into the possibly carcinogenic bracket. Um, if it's backed up with laboratory studies, um, mechanism studies, then it gets boosted up to the probably carcinogenic bracket. Thousands of scientific studies have been performed looking at radio frequency radiation and its effects on human cells, animals like rats and mice, and human tissue including brain, skin, and eyes. And there's literally mountains of data and mountains of research suggesting that there's no link between cell phone radiation and something like cancer. But take a look online and you'll find hundreds of websites and Facebook groups with a laundry list of problems apparently associated with 5G. So we've taken a look at this list and we're going to clear those things up. Roll that clip, me. 
Th thanks, Jackson. M Mark is ready. So, 5G is new and untested. Well, actually, 5G isn't new. The wavelengths have been used in airport scanners and radar for a long time, and initially, 5G will actually use the same wavelengths as 4G. More antennas means more exposure. As we've already shown, 5G isn't energetic enough to penetrate the skin or damage DNA. Some scientists even suggest that new beam forming technology could reduce exposure. High frequency wavelengths are worse than low frequency wavelengths. Well, that's not the case for ionizing radiation and other radio waves. I mean, even visible light can penetrate the skin if it's powerful enough. And of course, 5G is a mind controlled experiment. That sounds great, but aren't there studies that show that cell phone use causes cancer? Well, mate, that's kind of complicated. The easy answer is not really. Two of the most frequently mentioned studies are one, the US National Toxicology Study, and two, a study by Italy's Ramazzini Institute. In both studies, male rats that were exposed to huge amounts of radio frequency radiation sometimes develop cancer in their hearts and in their brains. However, the studies have been dubbed controversial because they feature huge amounts of radiation and exposure that far exceeds what humans would experience, making it much harder to draw conclusions. All that is to say that many of the arguments against 5G are not based in strong scientific fact. Despite that, over 240 scientists and researchers have petitioned the World Health Organization Environment Program to take another look at the damage radio frequency radiation may be having. And not just on humans, but also on the environment. And one question that remains is, can we actually rule out the long-term effects of exposure to 5G wavelengths? In my mind, it's unlikely. I guess my main reason for saying that is that um, People have looked at brain tumour and other tumour rates um, over the last few decades and during that time the usage of mobile phones has gone from zero in 1980 to more or less all of the human population. So you'd expect a massive increase in incidence of, of certain types of tumour if indeed there was a cause and effect relationship. And that makes sense, right? I mean, phones practically surround every single facet of our daily lives, and they've done so for the last 20 years. So we should see an increase in the incidence of brain tumours. But we don't. Studies in the US, Europe and Australia have all failed to show increasing brain cancer rates since the 1990s when phones became heavily adopted. Even though 5G hasn't been around long enough to perform these types of studies with cell phones, the frequencies and wavelengths it uses have been. Now, it's not that nobody knows anything about these frequencies because people used to use waveguides for communication systems and also for radar systems. And so there's been uh, like half a century of, of experiments where biological systems have been exposed to these high frequencies uh, without anything too uh, dramatic uh, appearing. So where does that leave us? Well, on one hand, we need more good science. We need more research into 5G millimeter wavelengths and long-term studies examining how exposure affects human health. What we don't need is Denise from Facebook telling everyone that cell phones are going to give them cancer or that 5G is a mind control experiment. Denise, seriously, give it a rest. Anyway, I'm Jackson Ryan, science editor at CNET.com, and you're probably watching this on a mobile phone emitting radiation. <laughs> but don't worry, it's not going to kill you. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I just did a video, I was talking about how radiation's not gonna kill you and all this stuff. Mum? Mum?